Hello everyone and welcome back to the Critter Corner. This week it is just me today and I'm going to be talking about my dream reptile species with two amphibians I think are on this list. So dream reptiles slash amphibians. Um, I am in a house right now with four reptiles and unfortunately this room uh the breaker trip sometimes so this cannot handle any more heating any more light so i probably will not be getting these species for a very long time but i like to dream about them so yeah let's just get right into it we have eight species they're not in a particular order i honestly don't know which one of these i want the most they're all just so incredible let me know in the comments if you've experienced with any of these um but yeah let's get right into it we are going to be starting off with an amphibian, and this is probably one of my top animals. Um, I think there's three on here that I like actually might consider getting, and this is one of them. So I'm going to be talking about tiger salamanders. Now, if you've seen Lissa's lizards, um, reptilian garden, they all have tiger salamanders. I think they're the most adorable amphibian you could possibly get. And they don't need extra heating from what I've seen. So it might be something that's doable in this room. Because um, I would really just need UVB and maybe a grow light. So I don't know. Maybe eventually I will have one. But I visit the one at the National Zoo very often. If you don't know, I'm in the Northern Virginia area. So I go to the National Zoo probably multiple times a month. Um, but here's a picture of the one that I visit all the time. I just absolutely love them. They're so cute. Their faces are so adorable. They look like they have zero thoughts. And they're really just cool looking for an amphibian. Um, I don't like really newts. I don't really like the way newts look. But this salamander, I really like. I think they're adorable. Next on our list, we have the Chuck Walla. Now, if you watch Clint's Reptiles, you've heard of Chuck Wallas. Um, he also has that merch shirt that says, Don't Chuck With Me, that I really want to get but um yeah chuck walnuts uh, so i am not a bearded dragon person i think i'm gonna make a video also with species i would never keep bearded dragons are one of them i just don't like them personally um but if i were to get a big big ish lizard it would be a chuck walla um they're just so cool and i actually visited one before too they don't have one at the national zoo but at zoo america at hershey park they have one so here's a picture of the one that I like to visit, um, I go to Hershey a lot too, but that Chukwala, absolutely adorable. They're way smaller than I thought they'd be. They're, they're smaller bodied than bearded dragons. Um, and I think they're beautiful and so cool. And from what I've seen, they're really sweet and I would just really want one. Um, yeah, if I were to get a big lizard, it would be a Chukwala. The next reptile on our list is one I will probably never, ever, ever get. And that is because it is um, illegal to keep in the United States. And that is a Fiji banded iguana. Now, I've visited this before too. They have two Fiji banded iguanas at the National Zoo. I love them. I That's the first reptile when I go into the reptile house. I'm like, I need to see the Fiji banded iguanas. Um, Wiccan, Wicked, Wiccan's Reptiles has one of them, Adam, and I think he paid a lot of money for it. He lives in Canada, so he can keep them there. In America, we can't. I don't like iguanas. I do not like them. But if I were to get an iguana, it would 100% be a Fiji banded iguana. They are also, if I would move out of the United States and I could get one, they're so incredibly expensive. So I just don't think it'll ever happen. But... I like to dream about them. They're amazing. Their colors are just so pretty. Like, so, so, so pretty. Um, and from what I've seen, they, they have, like, the iguana sass. But they're not so bad that, like, they're going to be dangerous from what I've seen. I don't know too much about them. But I know, like, big iguanas, like, um, rhino iguanas, um, marine iguanas, the, they can be really nasty. But... I've seen Fiji Bene iguanas are okay, but I think they're probably one of the most beautiful reptiles I have literally ever seen. Up next, we have another amphibian on our list, um, and that would be the Amazon milk frog. I have never seen one of these in person. We don't have them at any zoos I've been to, so 
sorry but i got this picture from pinterest i'll try to like credit also like who posted it and stuff um i've seen a couple people on tiktok with amazon milk frogs but i don't remember but yeah they're so so cute um i'm not a big frog person just because they can be really like delicate and um like white's tree frogs are absolutely insane i would never get a white's tree frog but um, amazon milk frogs are so cute they're so cute and uh like the baby's adorable i just think they're so beautiful and from what i've seen they can be pretty chill i don't know i don't have experience with them so i don't know but i think if i were to get a frog that would be my kind of frog up next like the tiger salamander this is something i could really see me getting um along my reptile keeping journey and that is a lychee honest gecko or a lychee gecko i have pictured this from the national zoo love them but these are my pictures that i took uh lychees oh my goodness they're just so beautiful they are the biggest gecko species or one of them i don't remember but they're huge um and they look like sock puppets like they look like they are their skin like kind of like a ball sack like they look like um they need to grow into their skin and they also have these beautiful beautiful colors like the different morphs they're gorgeous um honestly there's not much holding me back from getting one except for space my reptile room is kind of maxed out right now but um if i ever move or um something like happens that i end up having space for one that's one of the top ones on my list I know they can be sassy. I know they're very big jaws. So their bites can hurt, but I just, they're my dream. One of my dream species. And the prices are not that insane. They can be expensive, but nothing like a Fiji banded iguana or stuff like that. So I think that might be something in my future. I really hope um, one of my friends, Maddie um, at Critter Keeper, she just got a lychee and i'm literally so jealous i want one so bad but yeah the one at the national zoo i visit all the time because i just i love them next on my list another thing i hope to be getting in the future um i think tiger salamander is probably my number one and then this is next this um is a snake i think the only snake on the list uh, i'm not i have a snake i have a ball python i love snakes but they can be expensive with like their um rats and everything and i don't want a ton of snakes but my next snake is a hundred percent going to be a scaleless corn snake now i got um this video from one of my friends on instagram i'm gonna put their username right here put them in the description but they have um a scaleless corn snake named phoenix absolutely the most gorgeous corn snake i've literally ever seen so if you've heard about scaleless um, snakes before, maybe scaleless ball pythons, most of them are very unethical because they don't have any underbelly scales. But scaleless corn snakes have those underbelly scales. So they're protected um, underneath. And I think they're so absolutely beautiful. I, Alyssa's lizards also is a scaleless corn snake named Taz, but um, they're so cool, like so cool. And I never held one, but I'm sure it would feel really cool too and um i've heard the only problem like compared to a normal corn snake that they have is sometimes they struggle with shedding so you just need a really good humid hide but like <laughs> look at it oh my goodness are they beautiful um so next snake i get a hundred percent gonna be a skills corn snake because i cannot i mean i've seen some beautiful snakes but like they're not that reasonable to keep but skills corn snakes I will be getting one mark my words up next we actually have a reptile that i kept as a kid um so my family growing up my older sister was allergic to cats and dogs even though we ended up getting cats and dogs later on the line but my mom doesn't like snakes doesn't really like geckos so we got a baby red-footed tortoise his name was shelly um and we grew up with him but unfortunately something happened that he ended up out in the cold and we didn't know and he passed away way too early because tortoises live a really long time but he was a red foot tortoise 
and I I loved having that experience growing up. I love red foot tortoises, um, and yeah, I I mean I took mine into show and tell for kindergarten. I love them, so that's something we will also if we get a like house. We're in a townhouse right now, like a house house. And we have a backyard. We will be getting a either yellow foot or red foot tortoise. Um, here's a picture of the yellow foot tortoise that I visit at the Baltimore Aquarium, but they're so beautiful and I I really hope I can get some kind of tortoise in the future. 100% not getting a so-called tortoise. That's going to be on my other video of reptiles I will never get. But a yellow foot or red foot tortoise I see in my future. I really hope. And the last reptile on the list is a Gila monster or Gila monster, however you want to say it. Um, and it's the only venomous reptile on this list. So yeah, um, I'm not into venomous keeping at all, but these guys are so, they're so incredible. So I'm going to say Gila monster for the purposes of the Gila monster. I don't know. I've heard it both ways, but I, they have them at the National Zoo. The one at the National Zoo is super duper lazy, never moves. But I went to Zoo America at Hershey Park and this Gila monster, I'm going to show the video right here. This Gila monster was obsessed with me. So sweet. So he came coming up and then he, I like, he wanted little chin rubs. Like they are so, so, so cute. And I mean, I've seen that they love humans. They're so sweet. Um, I know people probably have different experiences, but Johnny Venom has some too. And his, in his videos look so sweet. Um, and they're another dream of mine. I hope, I really hope one day I'll get one. Um, I, I need more space. That's the thing with all these, they're my dream reptiles. So obviously I want them. All of them are pretty reasonable except for the Fiji banded iguana. So, and Chuck Wallows are pretty hard to find too, but I really hope I can get Guillermo's. They're so cute and they're so beautiful. Like they're, um, they're like scales, like they're kind of like beading. They're just gorgeous and they just seem so sweet. So I really hope I can get one in the future too. Um, but yeah, I will be going to visit that one at Zoo America again because I think we had a really good bond going on. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, talking about all my dream reptiles slash amphibians. Um, but definitely comment below if you own any of these and your experience with them. Also, if any of these are your dream reptiles, what your dream reptiles are, all of that. Just let me know. Let me know everything. Um, but yeah, that is all for this week's episode of the Critter Corner. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, that will be linked in the description. Um, I have an Instagram specific for the Critter Corner and Instagram for Emmer Animals. Uh, I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers on YouTube by the end of the year. We are at 90 right now. So I really hope we can do it. I think we can. Um, but yeah, that is all today. Let me know in the comments your thoughts and I will see you guys next week.